Okay, so as you can see, it's coming along. So I'm just going to put this right here with my tape holder. I'm always putting stuff down and losing it, and I swear it'd be right in front of my face. Do any of y'all do that? And by the way, guys, I cut this out with my silhouette, not Cricut. You could totally do this in your Cricut machine. As you know, I have stated before that I am a big fan of my silhouette cameo. Uh, I actually have just about all the machines, like I mentioned in my previous video, but I use the cameo three for just about all of my projects. So I'm going to actually, should I put, yeah. The big dots down here for this. It is so cute. I can't wait until it's done. And it will be in a few minutes. So I'm going to put that under there. Should I add another one? And the dots are so easy and convenient and it just brings more depth to your projects. So I'm always using this on most of all, all my projects. So her name like so. And I added these. Now I'm just going to slide these under here and take them down. And I'm going to add the background. I'm actually, uh, the background on like these other two colors. I'm going to add her age onto the balloons. And I got like a yellow, purple, and pink straw. I will be using for the cake stick. I noticed like using the, um, even for my daughter's birthday, like using the straws, the paper straws for your sticks, to me are so much better. They come in so many um, colors and it holds up in the cake itself more because using the skinny sticks can sometimes like you have to put the topper like way down in the cake i like everything to show and not touch the cake and these are just giving more support a quick tip and i'm liking how the yellow looks against all these colors that i'm using so that may be the straw but i'll be towards the end okay so Yep, that's perfect. So now I'm going to do her age five, and I'm going to be layering it. I use this glue, Barely Art Pre Precision Craft Glue, is the best glue. And it comes with these little things. And this glue is a game changer in crafts. It's so easy to use. It's such a good glue. It dries clear. This is my go-to glue. This is by me when I'm doing anything. It's very good for little pieces like the number. They actually sell blue dots too on um, Dollar Tree in different sizes. So you know these could be expensive in the store. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is 
add this piece. I may, um, and before I add the last piece, of course, because I don't like stuff to be bare, I always add a backing. I'm going to add a backing to it. And I don't like the yellow no more. How y'all feel about the pink? I might just get the purple. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so let me take this. And I'm going to run and get the purple. And purple. Straw. Okay. And it will be even cuter because I'm going to put little earrings and rhinestones and things on them. Give me one second. I'm going to run and get a purple straw to make sure if I'm going to use the purple. Okay, I totally think that I'm going to go with the purple. I may need to add more so can you get I'll do that. Yeah, I'm liking the purple, guys. So what I'm going to do, this is how I put my straws on. I press this down. Not too much because you don't want the straw to bend. Turn it over. As neat as possible. Like that. Turn it over. Okay, right there. You see that? Then before I put this piece down, before I put this piece down, I'm going to get these blue dots and I'm going to put them on the side of this. Probably don't need it right there, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so here we go. Do like so. Is it no? So I'm just gonna take it up quickly, and it doesn't matter because I got them glue got dots there. This is better. I dropped my glue gun. Okay. So, see how that is? It's like I don't like to show like a back end. Look how cute this is already. See that? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is embellish it a little. this on her right here. That's cute. I'm going to get another one pink for her. And need some earrings. Some little earrings. Let's 
Maybe I should do them smaller that one so it looks too big. So I'm gonna use smaller little pink. Alright, so almost that's perfect. I also need a little pom pom for the hair. So what should I do? Just a little buckle. Just a little buckle. I'm going to give the doggy a little. What kind of doggy? Right here. A rhinestone and they need little earrings too. Let's see. This is cute. And I'm gonna give her the same color earring. Her ears are little, but they look cute. Ah! Let me get another one. So look how cute this is. And as you can see, it's really not that complicated to me. It's just the layering of the things to make it seem like it's complex that could be too heavy. Um, let me see what I have in here. I have this yellow one that I'm going to use right here. Dab it with some glue. And then, guys, I'm done. That's all to it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Tell me some of your creations. Did you attempt to make your own shaker topper? If so, let me know what you made. I would like to know, was it complicated making it? And if you have any questions, please feel free just to comment below and I will happily answer them for you. And this is how the topper turned out, folks. I hope you like everything. Thanks for stopping by. Pretty cat crafty. And feel free to come by anytime to create with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good night.